Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica. I'm a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. I sell on Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US. Today's video is a ship with me, what's sold. I'm kind of in a rush because I have therapy in like half an hour, but I wanted to get this done. As soon as I opened my camera, I was like, oh my God, I should face the other way because it's messy, but this is real life. And this is just the reality of what I'm dealing with right now. So I went ahead and printed all my labels. I'll not show you the other side. I'll just show you this side. So what I do when I have like a decent amount of sales is I write down, write down on the back um, what goes in that package. If there's a SKU, do people say SKU or SKU number? Um, I put that number on the back, but some of these I already pulled because I needed the Ziplocs to <clears throat> photograph and list more stuff. I ran out of um, Ziplocs during the long weekend. So this is... Don't. This is um, my sales from the long weekend. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not bad, honestly. Um, that's like two a day. Um, most of these actually were offers that were sent to me. So I was pretty stoked about that. <clears throat> I have my laptop and my shipping lay my shipping stuff here. Um, so let me go get my slippers. <laughs> yeah, I usually have, I mean, I usually have my place pretty clean. Um, whatever, whatever. This is what we're dealing with right now. So let me go get this stuff out of the Poshmark room and then I'll bring it in here and then I will package it with you guys. So I'll be right back. Okay, if you know me in real life, you know how type A I am. Of course, I had to straighten out what was going on behind me before I could keep going. Um, and that's just, that's just the person I am. I forgot I got myself Starbucks after my dentist appointment. Okay, so let's separate these into... These are Poshmark Canada, these are Poshmark US. So I made three sales on Poshmark US and four on Poshmark Canada. Um, oh shoot, did I? Let's see if I have some US shipping stuff in here. I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go get some USPS mailers, stay here. Okay, so if you don't know, USPS has free shipping supplies. I get these through my cross-border courier. Um, when I go in, I just ask them for the cross for the um, mailers, and they usually have them. <clears throat> so let's do Canada first. These won't be in order, but that's okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to pack up is this pair of Lululemon. They're called the Miles Ahead Tight. I got these at the bins for a dollar. They actually sold full price. So um, they sold for $69. My earnings were $55.20. So my profit was $54.20, which is obviously I don't ever expect full price sales. I price things as if I'm probably going to get like 50% of what I listed it for. So let's see, I gotta find her shipping label. Oh, and the good thing about doing this is it makes it super easy. I can just look at the back. I wrote Lulu full length on those because I had already pulled them. There we go. There's one done. Next, we'll do this Lulu lemon tank top. I also got this at the bins like forever ago, so I paid a dollar. It actually sold for 30, which is crazy. Did I get this at the bins? I guess so. So my earnings were 24, so my profit was 23, which I'm very happy with. Again, Lululemon continues to be one of my best sellers. I don't know if it's because, I mean, it could just be because that's what I'm mainly sourcing right now anyway. I am able to source a decent amount of Lululemon at the bin, and so even if it's older, I still pick it up. 
and it's been selling. Not usually for this much. This is definitely, oh my god, one of my hairs went in there. Definitely an anomaly, but I'll take it. Next is this Danier Leather Purse. This I got at the bins for a dollar. I kind of listed it for Stampede and no one wanted it then. So <clears throat> I listed it. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $32. My earnings were $25.60. So my profit is $24.60. And I can't complain, especially since June and July were my slowest months. July Full disclosure, my profit was like $370, I think. It was like not good. So um, I was just happy to, like I probably made more this month already in August than I did all of um, July. Okay, last is this Patagonia Kids Puffer. This thing is very flawed. I disclosed that in the listing. I was like, I couldn't leave this behind. It is such a cute little puffer. It needs a full zipper replacement. And some of the seams are like, the feathers are kind of coming out. So I'm just using an old Fat Fit Fun box. Um, because I don't think this will fit in a mailer. And I will just actually, uh, if I put the shipping label down there, it will seal it. The ladies at the post office might not love me. Also, the person I dealt with at the cross-border courier last told me to stop putting the shipping labels on the top of the box where the tape is and to put it on a side because it was like I don't know anyway so that's Poshmark Canada this is Poshmark US three sales I was like why do I have four things here someone bought two things okay so first we'll do this bundle it was two pairs of Lululemon yoga pants these are a size 10 and these are size 8 and they are the groove pant and these ones were my mom so I don't know what um, style they are but they're just like a wide leg yoga pant. So, sorry that's like very crinkly. So my cost of goods was just for the one pair I paid a dollar. Um, we kind of went back and forth on this bundle, but since my cost of goods was so cheap, she offered $90. I think I offered like $115 and she countered $90 and I was like, yeah, that's fine. It's $72 US. So Canadian, that's $94, which obviously I can't complain because I paid a dollar for the bundle and I'll pay a dollar to ship it. Next is this old navy sherpa jean jacket i got this at the bins i hope i got it at the bins because i accepted an offer on this for a dollar um let's see if i have it in here do i not have my september sale yeah i do okay it's not on here yet i haven't um i haven't updated my app or my Excel spreadsheet, but let's see if I can find it. Oh, maybe Sherpa. Sherpa. Mm. Maybe I bought it in 2021. <laughs> but anyway, someone offered me $10 and I kind of like messaged them back and was like, this is lower than I can go, but it's closet clear out. So, um, I could do I could do like I don't know I probably like 15 and she didn't answer so I just accepted the offer because I was like you know what whatever I'll just okay I can't find this anywhere <laughs> Let's see if I can just search Sherpa. 
and see if it comes up. Okay. Oh my God. I paid $10 for this. Whoops. Um, okay. Well, that's not good. I mean, I made $7 and five cents after fees. So in Canadian, that is $9.27. So I did lose money on this sale, but honestly, I'd had it since February. So I was ready to let it go. Um, let's see if this will fit in the mailer. I don't think, so. I don't know. Let's see. Um, so yeah, anyway, like not all sales are gonna, it's gonna be so loud. Not all sales are like, you know, crazy money, like turning $1 into $94. Um, some of them, I'm losing money, but it's moving something out of the house, making room for something else. I'm kind of in the middle of changing my business model to source less, but higher quality. I want to eventually, honestly, like my big goal right now is to move more into buying and selling luxury. I never grew up with luxury items um, that just like wasn't part of whatever, nothing against anyone who does. It just wasn't us. But with reselling, I've obviously learned a lot about luxury items. I have a couple. I have um, a Louis Vuitton purse. I have a few Gucci items. I have a purse. I have like a ribbon and some tights that I want in a giveaway. I have two purses. One purse. I have another purse on the way and other Gucci items that I will be unboxing. Hopefully today, if the cross-border courier has them for me, um, and so I'm getting a little bit more of a, an understanding of luxury items. So that's kind of where I want to go. Okay. So this last thing that I packaged is a pair of Lululemon Wonder Train shorts. They were still full price on the website and, but sold out. And so I priced them higher. Someone, I think I priced them at like. 68 maybe or 58 someone offered me $40 and I was like kind of holding out for more because just because they are sold out um but then I like same thing I sent her a message and was like it's closet clear out how about we do 45 and she never answered so I just accepted so if there's anything in my closet that you like you can pretty much send me an offer and I will probably accept um after fees and my cost of goods my profit is $41.09 I did get these at the bins it was a crazy day I think that video is going live soon um the name of the video is one dollar Aritzia Lululemon and more um kind of stuff I have been sourcing for whatnot so anyway, okay, so now that I've put everything in their envelopes for Poshmark US, there is an extra step I need to take. I need to enter this into the cross-border shipping um, manifest system. So just because it is an international export, which is like a big part, I think, of why Poshmark is not doing cross-border shipping on their platform yet. It is so many moving pieces. At the Poshmark party a couple weeks ago, we were speaking with uh, Maria, who is head of global expansion, I think, at Poshmark. And um, I feel like everyone's always asking her, when are you doing, when are we going cross-border? When are we going cross-border? And it's like, people don't understand the logistics of cross-border shipping. Um, like, I actually despise filling out the manifest it's tedious work it's something i have to like focus on and i'm just not good at that i like entering in the zip codes like i don't know why it enrages me i don't like the person i become when i need to enter in zip codes <sighs> tracking number i don't know for some reason i'm fine with but the zip codes get to me so anyway so I have three packages. I will be bringing those later today to the cross-border shipper. I have 
um, an Ikea bag on this side that you can't see with all the Lululemon, Aritzia, and Urban Outfitter stuff for my whatnot show. I'm going to start putting that into Excel, into a separate sheet, and identifying them. That way when I do my show, I can like say what it is. Right now, it's just like, this is an Aritzia top. Um, anyway, okay, I like have to pee, and I have my therapy appointment in 15 minutes, so I will let you go. But um, I just wanted to keep you up to date with how my sales have been, especially on the long weekend. I was like, all right, here we go. I am listing more now than I have in a long time. I'm kind of getting back into a groove, which feels really good. And um, yeah, that's all I got. I still have a lot of stuff to list. I have a lot of stuff to photograph, but I am like powering through. And I think now that it's like fall, I'm more... I don't know, I'm just more motivated because it's not so freaking hot out. I don't have air conditioning and working in a hot condo all day, every day. I'm like, not for me, not for me. So all I wanna do is just melt into the couch, which is all I've done all summer. So anyway, I will enter these into the cross-border shipping. And then after my appointment, I think I'm just gonna head straight there. Hopefully they have my packages um, so that I can bring those back and unbox them. So there's some like really good stuff in there. I'm really excited about the last three times I went when they said they were there, they were not there. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. See ya. <laughs>